Episode 22. Liko, Freed, and Roy finally arrive at the Galar Mines, and inside, some Pokemon are frantically running off. It really sets this foreboding atmosphere. So Freed starts to explain why Rayquaza likely chose this place. But Spriggy and Coco can't go that long without screen time. So they take off, and Liko and Roy follow. Roy then gets lured by the siren call of Goth Rayquaza and takes off after it. All within the mine are frightened Pokemon, which adds to that sense of urgency. Suddenly, Rayquaza's roar bellows through the halls. We then discover some incapacitated miners, and Liko's like, How dare you sleep on the clock! After discovering presumably Rayquaza's claw marks, an ambush ensues. Amethio and Freed are a bit like Saviper and Zangoose, just hands on sight. When the battle against the Explorer starts, the captain comes to Liko and Roy's rescue. I guess we'll never get that on-screen Liko and Kanye battle. From the depths of the mine, it finally makes an appearance. But to my dismay, it wasn't Rayquaza, but actually a Pokemon with no data, namely Galarian Moltres. And within its claws is an Ancient Ball. It's also incredibly destructive, just leveling their teams. This beast goes on a full offensive against them, and even takes out Captain Pikachu? Yeah, they're in trouble. Meanwhile, Lizardon and Soblade's fight rages on, while Freed and Amethio continue taking jabs of their own at each other. In a pretty cool display, through sheer willpower, Roy and Coco dispel the toxins that had a hold of them, and launch a counterattack. But it turned out to be in vain. They really stand no chance, and Liko understands that. Realizing they're outmatched, they decide to hop on a cart and escape. I was really surprised that Moltres just lets them get away. Well, turns out it isn't. You could say Moltres is hot on the pursuit. Amethio and Freed continue their battle before the situation takes a turn for the worse. As the beast appears and lays its beak on them. Ending with a rock slide that traps them in the mind with it. Ah! Horizons keeps outdoing itself. This episode provided a real sense of danger and fear that does not crop up often. Also, I do like how the explorers are being used sparingly. I almost actually kind of forgot what their mission was. And the subversion of it actually being Galarian Moltres that was residing in the mines? Then it just appears and wreaks havoc for half the episode? Yeah, that had me on the edge of my seat. To me, this is an A-rank episode. 